What's going on? How y'all doing? On the day, uh, I want to talk on the topic, the importance of having standards. The importance of having standards. Basically, this is part two of readjusting your standards. I just felt led in my spirit that God wanted me to change the topic to the importance of having standards. And and basically to me, uh, what it what it means to have standards, and how important it is. When a person got standards, that means they know their self worth, they know their value. And if a person got good standards, that means they really know they worth and they know their value. And see, the reason why I got standards because I refuse to settle for less. I refuse to put up with foolishness when it comes down to dating and relationship. And I feel like this: why be with somebody and be miserable? I'd rather be with, my, be, with, be with myself and be miserable. Doesn't make no sense to be with somebody and be miserable. Doesn't make no sense to be with somebody and, 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 and they bringing you down instead of bringing you up. So the importance of having standards is standing, making a stand for something. Like the saying they always say, a person don't stand for nothing. A person don't stand for nothing will fall for anything. And that's why a lot of people are not in a, uh, in a relationship, they ain't happy because they ain't standing. They ain't standing. You know, they, 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 you know, they're weak. They're in a relationship for the wrong reason. They're not being strong. And chances are, if you're watching this video today and you, and you, and you, and you, and you got standards, that means you know your worth. You got high standards. I ain't gonna say they too high, but you got high, high enough standards. That means you know your worth. It means you know your word. And see, like I always say, I'm picky about who I date. When I say that, I'm not talking about the physical appearance. Because to me, all women are attractive. The plus size, the full size, the medium size, the thick, the slim, all women are attractive. I'm not just looking for no eye candy. Because I realize eye candy by itself won't make you happy. You see what I'm trying to say? I'm looking for a woman that's, they, they got a sweet spirit, that's submissive. And fearing God, that's my that's my number one main stunner right there. It's a woman that, that's submissive and to God and fearing God. Cause she's submitting to God, she'll submit to me. What, what tell me on most about woman is the way she worship. It's how she worship. Her spiritual identity, that beautiful smile, that sweet spirit. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a, a woman that with a nice body. See, you never heard me say that this, this, this is my standard. I want a woman with a slim body, no, uh, with no stomach, with curves. And say, that's not my standard. Now, if God bless me with somebody like that, okay. But she got to have a nice personality. And so, like I said before, you know, this, this chick, you know, gave me a flirt. Want to date me, but your profile fits you. You got your middle finger up. See, that's what I mean by I'm picking about who I date. That's what I mean by that. How how woman carry herself. How that look on me. I'm a man of God. Uh, you know, and my woman got a, a middle, her middle finger up. That's why with me, before I, I, I date a woman, before uh, a woman want to get with me, I don't just kick and rush and get with them. I check their social media, their, their social media page out. I see what they're doing on Facebook. And what they posting on Instagram. If I see them on Facebook cursing, showing their body, I don't want that. I don't want everybody to see what I got. I don't want everybody to see my woman's body. I don't want that. I won't let like they say, I want me a lady in the, uh, in the street, in the freak in the sheets. Hello, somebody. This, that's what I said. That's what I want. I want, I, that's what I want. I want somebody that we got class in the street. But when it come down to the bedroom, it's on. And I don't want any and everybody to send my woman's body. That's mine. You still trying to say? So I want more than just eye candy. I want somebody going to help me get to my next level. Because I realize a woman could either stop me from getting to my destiny or she can help me from getting to my destiny. Like they say, besides every good man, every successful man, there's a good woman. I believe in that. I believe if I hook up, hook up with the right woman, I'm going to get favor from God. Because the Bible say when a man finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor with God. 
So if I find who God has ordained for me to be with, I'm going to get favor with God when I join one and marry her. Because I'm marrying her, God going to give me favor. But if that's but that if if that if she the right one that God has ordained for me. You see what I'm trying to say? That's why I'm picking about who I date right there. Not because I'm thinking I'm all that. No. I just know my self-worth. I'm not all that. I'm nothing without God. And, it, and to be honest with you, I don't think I'm all that big and attractive and all that. I'm I, I look okay. I, I'm pretty handsome. But it's a lot of guys that are way more handsome than me. Bro, I mean, way more handsome than what I am. So I don't think I'm all that. I just know my worth. I know my calling. I know where God trying to take me. And I refuse to let a woman stop me from going where God trying to take me. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care how sexy she is. If she's not the one that God has for me, I will not let her get away of my blessing. I will not let her get away of me being a successful motivational speaker and a man of God. I want God more than I want a woman. I want to be successful more than I want a woman. I want to eat right more than I want a woman. I want to live good more than I want a woman. I'm not desperate. And the reason why I got standards because I refuse to put up with foolishness. And you got a lot of guys right now today, the reason why they broke, the reason why they ain't successful, because they, all they're thinking about is sex. Long as a girl got a nice body and she got a hole between her legs, that's all they're thinking about. They ain't got no standards. And that's why they built today. That's why I know some man. I know I know a man right now. I know him personally. His life is messed up. Because he got with a crazy woman. He got with a woman that used profanity. He got with a woman that stick that middle finger up on their profile. A hood rat. The girl got him set up. Called the police on him. Got him arrested. Now he got a charge against him. Watch, I'm going to show y'all something now. This is why I pick about who I date. Because I learned for, I learned for other folks' mistakes. He got locked up. He, he, he got in a little program where he could take up a trade. He got out, take a trade up. As he finished the trade, he, he applied for the job in that trade. They did a background check and say we can't hire you because, because there's one thing on your background. If he would never got hooked up with that crazy behind woman, that probably would have never happened to him. He could have been making good money right about now. The reason why a lot of men ain't successful, the reason why they broke and they struggling right now, because they don't got no standards. He could have had a good job right now making good, decent money. Doing AC work. See, I learned from my other people, from my, 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 my uh, other other folk mistakes. That's why a lot of men right now ain't got no ain't, ain't successful. That's why they broke because they ain't got no standards. They they got hooked up with the wrong chick. That's why I don't date and then everybody. I'm telling you, that's why. Not because I think I'm all that. I refuse to put up with foolishness because I got standards. A lot of women right now today struggling to raise the kids by themselves because either they, either, either, either they ain't have no standards or, or they blow their standards or they, they, they compromise their standards just to get with a man. And see, my video is not only for Christians. You watching this video and you may not be a Christian. And, I, I, and see, I don't want to just Put my videos on your uh, a Christian thing. I want everybody to watch my videos. So you watch my video today and you're not a Christian, don't be so quick to give a man sex. Now, if you're a Christian, you put a hold on until you get married. But for the non-Christians, you might say, hey, man, I ain't no Christian. I, 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 I want to do it before I get married. Hey, that's between you and God. I ain't judging nobody. But what I'm trying to tell you is, don't be so quick to give a brother your body. Your body the most precious thing you could ever give a man. Sex is the most precious thing you ever give a man. And the reason why a man don't respect a woman because it was too easy to get you. You gotta let a man earn his love, man. Earn your love. Let a man earn your body. 
Don't be so quick to give your body out to him. Make him earn it. Make him wait. Because if he can't wait for you, then guess what? He ain't the one for you. Because if he the one for you, if he really love you, he'll wait for you. So if he, if he don't want to wait for you, then let him go. Get that Beyonce spirit. And tell him, you must don't know about me. I'll get rid of you in a minute. Don't think that you're not irreplaceable. You're going to wait on me. You're going to respect me. Because what? Because you got standards. Because you got standards. You see what I'm saying? You got standards. Don't be so quick to get in the bed with a man. One thing about a lot of a lot of women, you know, they talk to a person. They, I mean, this is my experience. They, they talk to me one time and they already want to get married. Oh, I want to get married. You, you know, you don't even know me. Now, I'm a good man, but how you know, how you know I'm a good man? One conversation, you already talking about you want to get married. Let, they, I'm talking about they even let me prove myself to them. First conversation, they already told me I want a relationship with you. I want to marry you. They didn't give me a chance to prove myself to them. Let me let me pursue you. Let me show you that I love you. Let me make you feel like you're special. Let me make it. These women, they, they, they make it too easy. Ain't got no standards. Don't make it too easy for the man. Make him work for it. Make him work for it. The importance of having standards, man, is knowing your word. If you know your word, you're gonna have standards. And you and you ain't gonna set up for foolishness. Hey, I think I've listened to this video, man. God bless y'all. I gotta cut it off. Um I want y'all to be encouraged. Stay strong. And whatever you do, pray before you lay. Pray. Pray. Always pray. The scripture I read, Philippians 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious for a relationship. Don't be anxious for a marriage. Be anxious for nothing. But with all things, with, but with everything, not something, but with everything, including dating, but with every, everything, make your request uh, with, with, with prayer and thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. Philippians 4 and 6. Amen. God bless y'all. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.